and what is going on even now. This poem reflects a truth, my truth, that might be difficult for some to swallow, but it's required if it is change that we desire. <laughs> Just smell off. There will be no subliminal messages here, no beating around anyone's proverbial bush, no metaphors or hidden passages here, no sugarcoating, simply truth. My truth, for I cannot speak truth to power for or on behalf of anyone else until I am willing to do the internal work, the bare naked vulnerability, the truth of self. So here I stand, a physical, visual representation of a brutal type of abuse that has been kept strategically silent. I am healing overcoming still from generations and generations of toxic white woman violence. It has been said that PTSD rests in the bones, travels throughout your system and finds itself a home. And everything that I know about our stories, all that I've come to learn about our human experiences is that they never really leave. Refuse to make an exit strategy. They are settled, deeply embedded into our anatomy. Trauma like this reproduces, plant seeds, and these experiences are haunting me. Staring back at me every time I look in my rear view mirror, they are taunting me. And I'm still trying to find ways to heal through what the world doesn't want me to speak or maybe doesn't want me to believe because the reality is the same abuse that has been dealt to me has been passed down from one toxic white woman to the next to the women in my family to the sisters in my village those connected by blood and not every black woman that i know has a war wound from one of these women who wanted her spot despised her presence who decided to use her own power and privilege to teach us a lesson, use cruelty as her mode of operation, use her tears as a weapon, thought that she was going to break her down so that she could truly be in control, microaggression so much that that aggression becomes macro, internalized hatred, internalized racism, so calculating in her choices a perpetuator of intentional division. And if we, if we are to build a world of equity and equality that we are all proud to live in, then we must discuss dismantling the system that is the toxic white women. And it is rare, it is so rare to have the opportunity to look your abuser directly in the eye and say, you hurt me chose your own comfort over my freedom, chose to ignore the truth of my own humanity. All of the times that you tokenized and weaponized me and embarrassed and humiliated me, you've hid behind good intentions for generations now, your intentions without any level of accountability. Your well-meaning that has done irreversible damage to my own sanity and the fear the fear of being ostracized has kept me from speaking candidly. But fear is what so many are counting on to keep women like me mute. It is what will uphold the silence that is shrouded in this truth. It is what will pass down the same treatment to the next generation too. Fear of speaking up is the continuation of this type of abuse. So for every any toxic white woman with the ability to hear my voice, Take note, take heed, make a different choice. If it is true sisterhood that you desire across all borders, through all boundaries, with women of color, within intersectionality, you've got some decisions to make. Some internalized raci racism and bias to dissect. Some dangerous patterns to undo. Time is up for the toxicity that has driven your choices. Time is up for the abuse.